Hi, I'm Julie Meyer. This is Kianosons Edition 4. We are in Kia, Greece, at the Villa Carpe Dia, and I'm here with Jason Beresford. Thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. I think this is the first time you've been in Kia. It is the first time I've been in Kia. It's beautiful. Thank you. And um, uh, I, I brought you here because um, you're, you've been investing in energy yes. technologies yes. for a long time. You have a capital business. You have several portfolio companies. And I, won I wondered what you thought of the opportunity to develop energy businesses in the Mediterranean and Kia and so forth. How, how did this island strike you as an investor and an entrepreneur? I think uh, as an investor and entrepreneur, it's, it's a great opportunity, isn't it? Um, we went to the one and only yesterday. I, I looked uh, around that property. There's lots of things you could do to make it super efficient, super sustainable. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'd love to work with people like that to look at how you can make, make something super sustainable. You know, it's mm -hmm. a beautiful piece of nature that we're in. It's rugged still. Um, it's a bit blustery at times, but, it, but it's, I think it's a good place. and It's a great place. There's lots of people who could invest here and, and, and create... A kind of a, a growing kind of economy, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and as it's kind of raw and it's new, you can kind of build things up in the, the right way the first time, can't you? So it'd be a great opportunity. No, you've you, it's been serially entrepreneurially. You just you you, you you're parallel tracking. You you get one done, you go on to the next one, and so forth. How many businesses have you started and and really brought to scale at this point, uh, Jason? We, we've exited uh, three um, at a reasonable scale. We've. I had kind of other uh, sales, but on a kind of smaller scale, uh, two or three. Yeah. And, uh, and how, do, how do you bridge between Sostratus, capital, Sostratus, energy, and the ventures? How, do you, how does that actually work in practice? So in practice, Sostratus Capital is a company that we, we started in the States. Um, we invested in it originally in behind the meter projects. So even for large hotels, you know, you'd help look at putting I don't know, like combined heat power uh, units in. A lot of hospital, uh, hotels don't want to spend their capital on, on things that the customer doesn't see, doesn't mm -hmm. feel, doesn't appreciate. Mm -hmm. So if you can give them cheaper power mm -hmm. and a kind of better systems, then they'll, and you can do that over a long period of time on a, a power provision agreement, then they'd be keen to do that. So that, that's kind of one strand of our business. We've also moved in the last three or four years into renewable natural gas projects. So we own some of the largest uh, digester projects, anaerobic digester projects in, in California. Uh, we continue to invest in that and look for the opportunities, find the farmers, find the dairies and put together some good projects. Um, and then the, kind of, the, the final strand is, a kind of, I guess, the kind of smaller uh, projects. And this is the, where we're looking at the moment around the Viagen product and we're about to launch that. And that's a kind of road-based harvesting system and that's going to get launched out of the UK. Now, I have to admit, when you first told me about road-based mm. harvesting, I thought, <laughs> wild but weird. I did. Wild but weird. Why is it neither wild nor weird? Um, it's one of those things where, it, it, if it's very easy, everyone would have cracked it and everyone would be doing it. Mm -hmm. There's a challenge, I guess, where solar is great when the sun's shining. The right. sun doesn't shine 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And actually, even in sunny places, you don't get solar power anywhere near 24 hours a day. Right. So well, if you've got a, a lot of traffic flow and certainly kind of heavy traffic, so mm -hmm. some of the use cases you're looking at at the moment, doing a lot of work with ports, mm -hmm. uh, we talk to mining companies, Mm -hmm. So you've got to look at a lot of heavy traffic and a lot of traffic flow. As you drive over a kind of harvesting system, it can, can, can capture the kinetic energy. It stores it in a, a mechanical system. Mm -hmm. And then over time, we release it through an electrical generation system to produce power. So it's, an, it's, a, storage, it's a storage play as well. As, absolutely. absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and um, was that out there in the market and then you re repackaged it and, and, and made it your own or, or have you created this? Have you, no. Is this your innovation? It's 50-50. It's, it's, it's so we, we were in the kind of market behind the meter market. We we're looking at QSR, it's a quick serve restaurant in the States um, predominantly. So there's 211,000 drive throughs in the, in the States. And we're looking wow. at solutions you could kind of put in there. Um, I came across a company about two years ago now that was developing some tech that looked like it would be a good addition. Mm -hmm. So you could use solar, you could use a little bit of wind, you can use this kind of road-based harvesting yep. system, but it was very much in its inception. Mm -hmm. um, so we've really kind of gri gri gripped the nettle with it and kind of grasped it and we've kind of taken that forward. So we've taken that forward and, and produced a product yep. that we're about to launch now yep. um, and look to kind of take forward. So it was a concept. And we've had to take that on, invest in it, and bring it to market, and it's, and commercialize it. Now, now you, uh, uh, you know, I've, as I've gotten to know you, Jason, I know, you know, I, you, you, you go to the U.S., various parts of it. The, is this primarily your your empire is primarily Anglo-American, so forth? Are you going off to parts of Europe and elsewhere? What, no, what, what's the scope of your 
we, we've worked print. across the board. So yeah. we had a company in Qatar. So we did a bit of wow. work in the Middle East. So what we've been historically is opportunistic. I think okay. most entrepreneurs are. So yep. when an opportunity pops up, uh, yep. we pop up with it. <laughs> um, so historically, the US is a great place at the moment. So Biden brought in the Inflation Reduction Act. Yes, and, yes. and that really kind of helps people yeah. that are doing renewable projects. So that left us focusing quite heavily on the, the states. And, yeah. and I think there's a real opportunity there. But I think now you already see Singapore, Germany, and other countries starting to bring in similar type um, mm -hmm. incentive schemes. The UK used to have them a while, a while back. I think we'll have a change of government this year there. And I think they will probably, the new government will probably bring in more incentive for renewable type power projects. So it'll, it'll become uh, a good opportunity there. But we work wherever we can. The one thing that we're focusing on at the moment is so I don't think I can bore the ocean. I don't have any great aspiration to have thousands and thousands of employees. Yep. So the market that we look at at the moment is we're looking at kind of distribution franchises, having lots of parties in lots of places. You can all be given the technology, be given the ability to kind of sell and market the products locally right. and service to customers locally. Yep. So we, we really want to kind of run a channel business. So okay. yeah, I'd like to kind of not burden ourselves with managing tens of thousands of people. but. Kind of a distribution network would be would be good for us. Yeah, I was going to ask you how many because uh, every time I, I listen to you, I get tired because I, I'm thinking about how many people you must be managing and so forth. Now, coming to Kionesans, you were at the FT Winter in uh, yes. Lake Zurich and so forth, and so you, you, you've kind of test piloted two so far, um, very focused on energy this time and so forth. What, what would you say if you had to describe what it's meant to you so far? Would you say, uh, well, you know, just interesting people, or would you say interesting investment opportunities, or you know, kind of like I a, a met a couple of investors? I mean, what, what would you say? It's all of the above, isn't it? I mean, it's um, I've, I've enjoyed it. I didn't always expect when I came the first time, uh, um, and it was kind of a, a quick conversation with you, and, 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 and kind of last <laughs> yeah. invite. But no, but no? but I think it's no, I think it's good. I mean, there's lots of like-minded individuals. There's a good mix and a balance. It's. There's a little bit of formality, but then it's quite informal too. Yep. You know, from the last event, uh, Martin, who had the uh, the lighting yes, ideas, yes, yeah, yes, I've yes. flown out to California and spent some time with him oh, to wonderful. work out how we can help him. So, oh, wonderful! So that that's me looking at how I can invest some time and effort with somebody else to help them take their beautiful uh, thing to market a little bit more. So it's, it's it's all of the above, really. And I, you know, I enjoyed seeing the the, the guys again and speaking to people a little bit more. And I think you know, building up friendships almost. It's yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah, I, 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 I appreciate it. Well, very good, very good. And um, you know, what would you say is your prime focus right now? Would you say it is around the road-based energy systems? For the time being, it's that, that's the, the kind of key focus. So I want to try and make sure that that hits the river or hits the road, it gets going properly, and then I've hired a, a new CEO that will come in and run that and step yeah. into my shoes longer term. I don't aspire to running a business forever and a day and being that my main goal. Yeah. I, I enjoy the fact that I sit with Johanna and look at her business, I look at our energy businesses, and I've got the people that run some mm -hmm. of our other businesses. We're just yeah. about to sell an IT services <laughs> business. It, I enjoy that kind of sitting across the top and dabbling. Yep. Um, yep. So that's my kind of semi-retirement. Well, <laughs> Well, rumor has it that uh, some of your some of your kids are getting pretty smart on the whole entrepreneurial thing too. Yeah, rumor no, so has it. two, our older two, we've got six yeah. children. Two of them have uh, have joined the business. Yeah. So one works with Johanna, and he's got a business and, and HR background, and the other one who's got more of an energy background yeah. supports me in some of the other ventures. So it's really good. It's not pulling the people through. I've always thought about our companies as families yes. and, and part of the family. So I know all of the people that work for me. I know all the families and all the children. Yep. Yeah, and, and I like that kind of a, a relationship with our, our company. So it's nice that my, my guys come back and, and, and support the company and, and hopefully don't get treated any different to somebody else. Yeah. They should get their bum kicked if they don't do the, the right work. Now, with all of the expertise and experience you've had and, and so forth, why did you decide to get an MBA? You'd probably be teaching the MBA courses. So, not, uh, it was not funny. Theirs. So, uh, like, in 2015, yeah. I just sold a business and yeah. I wasn't allowed to do anything for a year. Yeah. So, I thought, I'm not allowed to do anything for a year while I'm supporting just in case I'm needed to be pulled back in. Right. So, uh, it was a tax write off. So, I, I paid myself to go. And, and jokingly, I said, when you all had to stand up at the start, everyone stood up and said, oh, I want to be entrepreneurial. I'm yeah, with the never going to be entrepreneurial, but I want to be entrepreneurial. And I was like, well, I've just sold a business. I've got nothing to do. I've come to look for a wife. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I met Johanna on the course, so I got great value for money. And I wrote it off on my tax bill, so it was, it was an all-around win. <laughs> but no, it was good. It was good well, to go and did. listen to people and, and hear people. And almost lots of things, you know, I listened to Bruce's uh, presentation this morning. Lots of things are common sense, but, and I love the fact, you know, 
it isn't, common sense isn't common. Yeah. Right? So you listen yeah. to a lot of the things and a lot of the, you sort of get names put to what is common sense. Yeah. You understand the models. Of, but I, I enjoy the MBA and it has helped. It has ran, ran us out. But the, the biggest thing for the MBA, and I guess you'd have the same, is the network that you meet yeah. there. That was crazy. Yeah. You know, the people I met and I still stay in touch with a lot of them. And, and there's a huge diversity of things that they do. I could pick up a call and almost talk to anyone about anything. You know? So it's good, and, that, and that's what I really enjoyed about the MBA. Well, fantastic. Well, you're two for two this year, so we're, we're going to keep on inviting you back. And, uh, yeah, no, no, I heard the next get, one, Mikados. Yep, and get the, the Beresford clown, <laughs> get the Ber Beresford clown in here. Thank you so much for coming. I'm looking no, forward fantastic. to seeing your keynote this time, and we'll share it with um, the Kianessence community. Fantastic. Thank you very much. This Thank brings you. us to the end of Kianessence Edition 4. I'm here with Jason Beresford of Sostratus Capital and many, many ventures um, joining us, and we will be sharing his keynote um, later this later this season. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. All right. Excellent.